with the changes in transit that were approved by the Board of Supervisors this past year, the county has received uh, recognition from a third party that basically shows the, uh, the effort may have been one of the most successful rollouts of public transportation in the United States in the past 10 years. Just what it means for our county, for our region, for our workforce, for um, all of the companies that do business here. It's all interconnected. Caution, bus moving right. We at the Greater Washington Partnership are recognizing Henrico, uh, the city of Richmond and the state for its bold leadership and action taken in, in 2018 to launch the Pulse Bus Rapid Transit Line. We are excited uh, at the Greater Washington Partnership to present this award on behalf of the Institute for Transportation and Development Policy, a bronze award that puts this line in the same levels as uh, global leaders such as Seoul, Korea, Los Angeles, Seattle, and the Cleveland Health Line. This is a big recognition. This is an exciting time to step back and uh, celebrate the success that the Richmond metro area has achieved. I would argue that this is the best emerging line in the country today that's coming online and showing what can happen when partners come together to execute a big, bold, visionary plan. The Pulse has stations like this one at activity centers where people need or want to get to or from. Our busiest platform is Willow Lawn in Henrico County, but they're also connecting from the county to destinations in the city and vice versa. You have people who live in the city who are trying to get to jobs, to shopping, to critical services in Henrico County. And what's great about Willow Lawn, the Pulse station there, is that so many of Henrico's local routes that extend farther into the Henrico County are connecting conveniently at Willow Lawn. And that's the power of the Pulse, is that you can get people quickly, efficiently, east-west, along a significant chunk of the capital region. The recognition, the fact that we have increased ridership by 55% on these expanded routes, the fact that we have 192,000 jobs now, we have the need for workers. Transit provides another mechanism by which to get people and folks to work. We have actually had many calls from companies that are now asking to locate on a bus line. Henrico County has had public transportation for many, many years. I think going forward, you're gonna to continue to see those efforts improve, expand, and hopefully ridership will continue on the trajectory that it's on.